Hi everyone, uh, I'm Becky Thorne, Director on the VMG Board. I'm also a vet and I work for Medivet as a Divisional Operations Director. More importantly, I am a new mum and I just wanted to talk about my experience returning to work after maternity leave. Before I became pregnant, I don't think I ever fully appreciated that it's actually quite a scary thing for someone coming back to work after such a long time away. Um, you're away from the business, you're caring for your baby, and I really tried to think actually what could my return look like. I had a great conversation at the time with my line manager about what I wanted to do. And fortunately for me, she was really accommodating and understanding. She was a mum herself. So that made that conversation um, a lot easier for me. Um, I used all of my keep in touch days. Um, and initially I did sort of one to two kit days per week and over that sort of five to six week period. And that really helped me um, just to start to get that insight back into the business and pick up on things again. Um, at that time, organising childcare then just for that one day um, was a lot easier than having to, to do it over sort of week blocks at a time. I'm really lucky in that I've got two sets of grandparents um, for my daughter, Ava, who are really supportive and they helped me with childcare. Um, I also managed to get her into nursery for sort of two half days and, and a full day as well. Um, planning it out and actually having those open and honest discussions about my situation did really help me. Um, leading up to that date of me going back full time, I thought, right, I'm going to map it out uh, in a calendar, a spreadsheet about what that sort of phase return to work could look like for me. Um, I accrued the holiday uh, on maternity leave and I know some people take that as a, a whole block um, and then return to work. but. For me, I really wanted that gradual approach back in. So again, spoke with my boss at the time um, after I'd done my kit days and proposed sort of doing two working days a week and then having three days holiday for that sort of first month. And then I increased that sort of three working days um, for two weeks using my holiday um, for the other days and then working four days until I basically used all my holiday that I accrued on maternity leave. It was really important then for me that actually I communicated that really well to my team and sort of other key stakeholders within the business so that my time off was actually respected and everybody knew the days that I, I was in work. I found it worked really well for me. Um, you know, it, it made me feel like I wasn't just, you know, leaving Ava and going back to work full time um, when I'd been there sort of every day at home um, over the last sort of six to nine months. But look, I would encourage anyone to have an open conversation, see what arrangement that you can come up with uh, to your employer about a phased return and just try and, and work together, really, because it's it's really important that you feel comfortable um, about how and when you're returning to work. Then the other thing that I learned was that it's really helpful to have that sort of check in from your line manager, particularly in those first few days, few weeks of coming back from maternity leave. It can feel really overwhelming coming back to work. Um, uh, if you were anything like me, you're still sleep deprived, you know, um, you've missed a lot of, of updates and changes that have happened within the, the business over the last six to 12 months. It may even feel like a different company that you've come back to, you know, there's new starters, um, things that have happened whilst you haven't been there, but it's actually okay for it not to feel okay at first. And it, and it took me a while to, um, acknowledge that. Um, I felt a whole range of emotions, mom guilt about being back at work, then I felt guilty about doing that phase return and not being able to support my team as much as I wanted to. Then there was that sense of feeling like you're missing out, missing out on both sides really. But it is just really trying to find that right balance for you and I don't think anyone can tell you what that is. You know, you know what you're going to be able to do is that that you can't go to back to work full time, you want to put in a flexible working request, you know, look at, um, you know, hours uh, that work for you and for um, and for your company as well. But all I would just say is, you know, speak to your um, employer, speak to your boss um, and just be really open and honest about it. One thing I will say is that moms are incredible <laughs> and I never realised actually until I became one. So. I suppose to finish, I would just say don't ever doubt or underestimate yourself. We are really resilient, we're hardworking, we're strong women and just always remember that you are doing a great job.